to okay this has happened mm-hmm. how do i readjust myself based on what this has happened mm-hmm. move because the truth is the death happens we all gonna die yeah one way or another we are all gonna die that's you the reality that? i'm not simon says simon says simon says simon says simon says, simon says. Simon says. Simon says. it's the simon says podcast now how do you get get work towards your emotional intelligence now one of the most important things about emotional intelligence and this is a fact all round through mm-hmm. not to point fingers but it's, pointing fingers it's it's built at your childhood age at your childhood stage your parents are a huge a huge area of how you grow your emotional intelligence uh-huh. especially so your example giving mm-hmm. fathers reinforce their children in a certain way mm. discipline is reinforced in a household in a certain way many african homes well our generation yeah, true. many of our african homes the dad was looked at like the lion yeah true when He's dad comes rrr, everyone yeah, runs everywhere true. so that becomes your emotional intelligence so what's your emotional intelligence towards men mm. or oh, they are always tough you know strict, strict and we what have not. A, we have a strict so how does things. so every time you are dealing with men that's your intelligence about them Mm-hmm. And every time you deal with women you have you this, understand this you way. understand them in a different way it's nurtured at that point but you see we can't keep going back to many of us in society many people don't have active fathers in their lives mm-hmm. that's the reality true what then that means is you as an individual needs to learn to start teaching yourself how to be emotionally intelligent to different situations Meaning you can't you keep can't blaming people for, for everything others. going wrong in your life Yeah, take This, responsibility for yeah. your actions. Take responsibility for your actions and also realize shit happens. True. That's the truth. That's what always, yeah. Shit happens. Yeah. You can and th- this one is especially for us men. Mm-hmm. We can't keep using the excuse of I didn't have a daddy, that's why I'm broken. Mm. We can't keep using that excuse. Well, uh, yeah, daddy wasn't my daddy, daddy wasn't, wasn't home. There. Daddy wasn't home. Yeah, yeah. Daddy daddy ran away from me. It sounds great on paper. But now but it's stupid. How are you going to how are you going to progress past that? You ha- now you see the thing is we have to we have to learn to readjust ourselves. Mm-hmm. There are men there I mean in this once again we're in a generation mm-hmm. where we have so much information. Mm-hmm. How many men on YouTube are teaching other men how to be men? Yeah, a lot. How many women on YouTube are teaching about women empowerment? And hey, every other like they, whatever. Even if you just Google, Google makeup tutorial yeah. whatever, they immediately see the next video. It's it's there's so there's so much. What can't, then then now there's so much information that means there's less action, right? Yes. We're not we're not Everybody's willing it. to talk about yeah. it but not willing to actually walk we're, it because the, the truth is this. Life does not care about the bad things that have happened. Life life moves. Have mm. you ever been I mean you and I have lost yeah. parents before. Yeah. Life moves. True. Sadly but true. Your parent I mean your parent dies. Yes. Your world comes crashing down in a crazy way. But life moves. And life does not give a fuck. It and it runs. Hey, it runs. You will and I and I've said this before many people stay at the grave. Mm. and never go never walk away from the grave. But then you know see the people stay at the grave thinking that they must as a form of paying yes. homage. Yes. And you see it's okay to it's okay to go Just visit the homage, grave. Yeah, yeah. Go visit the grave, uh-huh. but don't leave at the grave. Cuz mm. life moves. Like mm. people move. Yeah. I mean, one of the craziest things about losing a parent is people are with you guys for a month maximum. Yeah. After a month it's back to normal. True start. Even sometimes even two weeks max. Yeah. That's it. The, your yeah, parents, oh, siblings sorry, yeah, yeah, have everybody. gone back to their lives. They're yeah. back to work. Sadly, your siblings yeah. are doing their thing. Then you boom, are, your leave is over. You yes, have to go back. you have to go back to work. Life moves on. We have to learn to okay, this has happened. Mm-hmm. How do I readjust myself based on what this has happened? Mm-hmm. Move, because the truth is, the death happens. We all gonna die. Yeah, one way or another, we are all gonna die. That's you the scared reality. Of death? I'm not. Death is, is a you think what two things we're yeah. not afraid of death. Number one, I know I ain't dying anytime soon. Oh, preach. I, I'm going to see now. Yeah, there you I'm go. Like, <laughs> dude, I'm hey. here. I'm checking I out. Be, I want to be on my terms. Yes. At 100. Uh, in fact, I'm here like 118. Now, it, like, I want to be when I'm like close to dust. I want to see. This is me and my wife's dream. I'm here like we uh. this is how we are going to check out with my wifey. Uh. Kids, guys will come over to visit. Mm-hmm. We'll probably be seeing like our great great grandchildren. Yes. We'll tell people good night, kwaheri, and mm-hmm. then we we'll go sleep. Bam. And that's how we'll check out. End of story. And if you guys wake up in the morning, oh. They're gone. Yeah, that's they didn't they do their and thing and then life will life will go just, on just like you mentioned. But that's actually the truth. That's what happens every single time. But even even that's even when it comes to even breakups and so many other things, mm. it always has to happen like that. That's how you get on to the next. Yeah. 
you can't stay at the past relationship you can't keep blaming your ex yes there is emotional damage yes there is trauma mm. reality but you can't keep blaming your ex for the shit happening in your life now you know that kind of makes us feel good when you blame, blame someone else you know that and that's it. because we don't want to take we don't want to face the thing Mm, I mean, is. what was one of the? Remember when you broke a glass when you were young? Mm -hmm. You had to face your mom. True that. That was your first lesson at facing shit. First, face your mom, then daddy yeah. coming at later on at night around eight o'clock. When you misbehaved, oh, can be a babako. So you faced mm. your dad. See, so you're alive today. There you are. See, it's true. Yeah, it always happens. You faced it. So the only thing is, everything else that happens in our lives is at a bigger scale of facing it mm -hmm. it's a bigger broader Scope. thing yeah it's but more, generally it's the basic yes still principle. the basic principles are still there and the most important thing mm. is you keep moving you don't stop uh, you don't you start, stay yeah. you don't stay at the grave you don't stay at the broken relationship mm. you don't stay at the lost job yeah you don't stay at the lost business <laughs> you move true it's the salmon says podcast <laughs>